Hello everyone and welcome back to Lawrence Place Factorio Angel Bobs. Since the last episode I've mostly been doing a bit of sort of tidying up and getting a load of research done as well while I was at it. But one of the things I have done is built up this area here which is doing the um, the alien research. So there's a couple of sides to this. The first the first side is this part uh, where we're pulling in Oh, I'm not on the map mode. There we go. <laughs> Let's try that again. Where we're pulling in the various different types of science pack and turning them into the gold science. And this is something that's going to get through quite a lot of resources, I reckon, because it's pulling in the four different science packs and then sort of combining them into one. But it does mean that there's then room to get all of that into this into these um, science machines down here. The other part of it is the alien science research, and that's done by bringing in either by bringing in the small alien artifacts and turning them into big ones, as we've got these machines here doing. And this is a requester silo, so I can tell I can tell the bots to go off and pick up um, the alien artifacts from anywhere on the map, like like this, for example, uh, just by selecting them with a deconstruction planner. Um, and that's a fairly slow process for the bots because whilst they they yeah they'll get they'll happily fly out as you can see here and pick them all up it takes a long time because each one only seems to be able to carry a, a relatively small number at a time so for a huge clump like this i actually reckoned it was easier to go out and just run around in there um, on, on foot and pick them up manually and dump them into a train and that worked quite well i've, I've done that in a few areas around the base but it's easier it's, it's not as quick, but it is probably easier just to, in fact, it is definitely easier just to sort of go around selecting big patches of, of them like this. Unfortunately, the um, the set of mods I'm using don't let me select, um, don't let me, spe what, what, so whilst I can specify um, to an extent a deconstruction planner and filter things down, I can't filter by the alien artifacts. So I'm, I either have to go in and just say pick up absolutely everything like this. Or I basically have to go in and run around and pick them up by just running over them by foot. It seems there are mods to to allow you to um, collect things automatically, but I haven't got I haven't got that installed yet. I th but I am thinking that I might well, I might well do that. That said, having gone out there and well, as you can see, the bots are quite effective when you've got enough of them. Um, but having having gone out and done it a little bit by hand, that's built up an enormous supply of them. As you can see, if we look in here, I've got 3,700 of the of the normal artifacts, and about 2,000 or just over of all of the other ones. So that's going to keep that going for a while. I do need to have more of the standard ones. That's the uh, the first purple ones, uh, the the light purple ones, as it were rather. Than the... All right, we'll call them pink. <laughs> I do need to have more of the pink ones than any of the others, because. Um, the pink ones are also used over here somewhere. Yes, here. And um, they're being requested by this ch requester chest here in order to make the um, the various types of um, of plasma turrets. So at some point, maybe I'll upgrade all the plasma turrets around the base to Mark IIs as well. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. So with that, where is it? Here we go. With this, uh, producing the, um, the the alien science packs and the uh, and the gold ones, I've now got the resources I need, to, I, th I believe, to do nearly all of the research. So if we have a look down here, we've got um, some some things down here, like this this for example, flaming shotgun shells. Apparently, takes gold and one of the re one of the sci alien science packs. So we could um, no, we can't do that one because there's something else I need to research first. That one. So we could start doing that. Um, in fact, let's make that happen straight away. And you can see these these machines they are now kicking, and they're all running off the um, off the alien science packs. Now, as you can see, I've now done most of the research. I'd say that's probably 80% of it. But there's some of the big ones left, like like this one that requires two million science packs. These are absolutely enormous. Uh, but I do have, I think, the required resources for nearly all of the research. There's some of these. Um, module researchers that are going to require me to have the the dirty green um, uh, module boards and I think and a, yeah is the dirty green ones the only other one I need I think it might be so there's there's, there's a few of these that are going to require a, a little extra um, in order to get them re researched um, but other than that the only one that's going to be tricky now is these ones across here which require the um, the alien plant life sample and having had a look in um, FNEI Oh, where is it? Why do I always have trouble finding this? Right, okay, so there are only there are six ways to make these. And basically all of them require a garden as as an input and put and in 
best, and at best will produce 32 of them. So looking at this, we've got 32 there, 50 there, 50 there. So that's uh, 230 uh, maths. Um, several. It's going to be about. Um, <laughs> it's going to be eight. I'm going to need to have, find eight of those garden things. Uh, and that's always a bit tricky because I mean you can sort of find them on the map to an extent. There's is that one? Yes, there's one. They're the green little green blobs on the map, but not all of the green blobs on the map. Some of them are uh, puffer things, I think. What's in here? Yeah, some of them are puffer nests like that one, uh, whereas some of them are the are the actual um, gardens that I need. So I'm going to have to go out and find eight of those in order to get that research done. But otherwise. I've got nearly everything I need. I did have a look into some of the more advanced things I'm researching and those get a bit harder so one of the things I've now got is all of the power armors. I can now in theory make the Iron Man suit but that requires all kinds of weird stuff. Most of this is fine. Um, copper tungsten I assume is just going to be copper and tungsten that sounds quite doable. Nice and all I've got. Alien artifacts I've got. Electronic logic boards and processing boards I've got. But the speed, the more advanced speed modules are quite difficult. Um, let's have a look for those. So it's things like this one, the speed module 8, for example, which requires diamond, which requires cut diamond, raw diamond, diamond ore, crystal seedlings. Okay, that's not that's not too bad. What I did notice was quite difficult was the um, the speed processor boards. Because those require polished blue crystals, kind of blue crystals, raw crystals, and that's going to need me to look into um, biter meat, which is going to be interesting. And there's a couple of other ways. To, I thought there were a couple of other ways to make them, but maybe there aren't. Um, yeah, so that's going to be quite difficult. I'm not sure. I'm not really sure how I'm going to approach that, but I guess it's just sort of methodically one step at a time. So that's that's quite a big deal. Uh, and then you've got these things like the uh, space constructions, which require massive amounts of uh, research to be done. And my pink research production has stalled again. Great. Why is that this time? Oh, because I ran out of brass, probably? Okay. So what I've been doing is I've been looking through all of the different things and, and working out where the bottlenecks seem to be. Now, at the moment, this, this one stopped as well because we've run out of whatever this station has. Put iron. Why are we out of iron? We shouldn't be out of iron. I thought this, this system down here was... Oh no, okay, I take it back. This is, in fact, not quick enough. Okay, I'm going to need to speed this up as well, I guess. So you can see there's there's all of the, whilst everything is basically working, all of the resources are being produced and all of them are being taken. They're not actually being, sometimes they're not actually being produced in sufficient quantities. If we look at this, then you can see um, there's not enough radar being produced, although that's probably not so much of a problem because that's only being used for the rocket, uh, rockets. Same with the plutonium. I need to upgrade my, up, up my brass production. I apparently need to upgrade my plastic production. And oh no, that one's all right. Sodium hydroxide needs to be produced faster. Nickel maybe. So yeah, as you can see, there's there's quite a lot of stuff in here that, whilst it does exist and is being produced, it's not being produced quickly enough. So that's going to require some going around and tidying stuff up. It may be a case of just upgrading some of the belts. It might be that um, now these things are producing faster than the belts can take and carry it. Uh, what's the problem here? So... <clears throat> yeah, so this crushed sapphire, for example, isn't coming through fast enough. A yellow belt isn't, re and this is full, so a yellow belt isn't remotely fast enough. If I upgrade this to purple all the way through, then maybe things will start to work fast, fast enough. In fact, I'll probably do that because that's not going to be, and that's going to be really, really easy to do. Um, other things I've been doing, let's see, I because I had all of the um, nuclear stuff around now, I'm now starting to produce uh, produce atomic bombs. So with the um, with the, all the stations here, I can bring in my explosives and my uh, uh, rocket control modules, and from those I can build up atom bombs. And I've got now 24 of them, which isn't very many, but you know we can leave it ticking over. The problem with this and and it's a complete waste of time building four of these machines, but never mind, um, is that it requires something like 30 um, pieces of plutonium in order to build one, one atomic bomb. And, and as, you, as you probably noticed, plutonium isn't being produced pretty, particularly quickly here. And that's kind of bottlenecked by the speed that the uranium ore is coming through. So, yeah, it's, it's not quite as quick as I would ideally like, but... That's, that's limited by how fast I'm producing uranium ore down here. 
um and that's limited by how fast these brown this bobmonium crystal these bobmonium crystals are coming through so again i could go through and i could upgrade all of the belts here to green belts and that would everything would run a bit faster i might need to then go in and put in more machines though that's the that's the thing so it's a bit of a sort of you don't know you don't you, it's hard to know exactly where the um where the bottlenecks are going to be however everything is as i said ticking over just not quite at the rate i might ideally want this is okay we've got we've got 24 nuclear bombs i'm not I don't tend to intend to use them in a great deal in enormous quantities because I've got so much space available and to be quite honest the artillery works well enough I might look into making explosive artillery that could be quite good fun that uses the alien um, the alien artifacts you need to invest you need to research up um, or napalm artillery shells that sounds even more fun you need to research up the um, the flame fluid uh, or the explosive fluid depending on which one you which one you want to have <coughs> and then you can build a new type of um, Artillery shells, so that, that that could be interesting. Maybe just mix them all together and see what comes out of the guns. So there's there's yeah there's still stuff to do, um, and that that sort of goes a little bit beyond just getting all the research done. So I think I'm going to I'm going to keep chipping away at that, uh, looking at the um, looking at the the um, the bottlenecks and trying to trying to fix them. In fact, let's do a um, an upgrade of all the belts to purple. Where's my upgrade planner? That one. So if I grab this one. Which one's iron? This is iron. And then just drag it across all of this to about, yes, to about here. And then all the way down to uh, here. I don't care about the iron so much. Okay. So now, as you can see, it's all been coloured in with these, uh, with these yellow circles. That means I've told it to upgrade all of that. Some of it, whether it's red or yellow or whatever, it's all just going to get upgraded all the way to purple. Um, except I didn't go quite high enough up here. Let's do that again. Across here. And then we should get, yes, yeah, a flurry of bots. These will all be carrying some nice shiny new purple belts. I'll rip them out of here. And then as they, as they um, I mean, I, I could go up to green, but that seems a bit possibly slightly overkill I don't know maybe I should have just gone all the way in one go but yeah the bots all come in here grab the um, grab the belts from the, from here and very quickly we're gonna run out of these but never mind the um, the machine will carry on making them maybe I should make that slightly higher than a thousand I don't know and then they'll all be flown down here I do really like the um, the uh, having bots to do all this stuff for me it just makes everything so much easier and they'll fly them in down and eventually they'll start doing the upgrades. So while that's running, is there anything else I need to talk about? I don't think there's been much I've added since really. We've got um, silver ore being produced here and tit oh, titanium ore seems to have stopped. That's because... Interesting. Styrotite crystals have stopped. Sapphirite? Styrotite? I can, I can never remember which is which of those. And they've stopped because... No, not because we've run out of sulfuric acid. Oh, we don't have any chunks coming in. We don't have any ore coming in. Huh. Right, okay. That's interesting. There should be a mine for that somewhere, because I'm sure I went round and built all of them. Yes, it's this one up here. I... Oh, it's because I stopped these... <laughs> I stopped these trains because there were... No, I didn't. Because there were stupid problems happening. Okay, I'm going to have to have a bit more of a look into that. Well, I'll do that between episodes because you don't want to watch me going around looking at everything and scratching my head. But as you can see, now we've got the belts being gradually upgraded over here. It's going to be a quite a long process and the ones that are actually most useful for this aren't going to get upgraded. Probably until last, it'll leave one or two awkward ones in just the wrong place. But, you know, it's it's a process. It'll, and we, if we just leave them at it, they'll get, they'll get finished eventually. So, thank you for watching. Um, I know this hasn't been the most... Um, meaningful of episodes because in a way I've just been going around and tinkering with things and and ironing out little problems the main thing I've built up is this is this system down here and as you can see the bots have now gone out and picked up all those um, resources I was asking them for and I guess we just leave it leave them to leave them to get on with the upgrades down here that should solve the iron crisis I was having and I'll go and try and work out why um why this stereotype uh, isn't getting mined properly <laughs> I suppose I'll answer that in the next one. Oh, I did find out why um, why my 
crushed stone production, uh, crushed stone wasn't being delivered down here properly, why all the trains kept coming up with um, path not found errors, it was because I built up some extra stations along here somewhere, where was it? The, yes, these ones that I was planning to use for something, and then clearly never did. Um, and they were blocked off by all these gaps because I hadn't finished them off. But they were all named after the crushed stone unloading systems because I'm an, I'm an idiot and I forgot to un, I forgot to remove the uh, station names when I was when I was putting them out. So that meant a train would come out to wherever, maybe over here. It would pick up a load of crushed stone and then it would try to go to here because that was slightly closer, and that would fail, and the train would just sit there looking confused. So I fixed that now. Um, but it's. It's quite reassuring in a way to know that generally when something doesn't work in this game, it's usually because I've done something dumb, not because I've, um, not because there's something actually wrong with the game or wrong with the the way it works. <laughs> in a way, that's sort of a relief. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope I'll see you next time. Um, it's as I said, a bit waffly, but I'll try and have something a bit more concrete to talk about next time. And I don't mean um, this stuff. Thanks for watching. See you later.